What's up friends? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi guys, welcome back. Today is a really fun day because it is box lunch money day. Oh, I love when box lunch money time comes around and I'm able to get all of my favorite fandom items for half price. So if you're not familiar with box lunch, first of all, y'all get familiar. It's amazing. Box Lunch is my most favorite fandom store ever. They have absolutely everything that you can think of. And they also donate a portion of their profits to Feeding America, which is so cool. Not only do they have really cool stuff, but they also go to a really cool cause, which we love. And then also they have this thing called Box Lunch Money. And it's basically however much um, dollars you spend, you get a certain amount of coupons and those coupons are $15 off of a $30 purchase and they can be stacked and that's exactly what I do. I collect them all and then every three or four months or so they have box lunch money days where you can spend your box lunch money and I have quite the little haul for you today because I had a lot, had a lot of box lunch money. Go ahead and get started. Let's see what we got from box lunch. Two big old bags. I accidentally... I accidentally um, sliced this bag open with one of the items that was inside. I ended up taking it out because <laughs> I was afraid it was going to fall out and like actually fall on my foot, which was terrifying. Have you spent your box lunch money? Tell me what you bought this last time. So I got two super cute little card holders. So this is the first card holder. This is the Little Mermaid Castle. And yes, this is Daddy Triton's um, Wiener Castle. We call her the Wiener Castle. And it's got little embroidered little fishies. And it's so cute. So you open it up and you can place some cards there. And then on the back, it actually has behind the little identification is the interior of the castle, which I thought was a really cute little touch. It's got Ariel and it also has Daddy Triton, hashtag daddy though. And it also has um, the details of the interior of the castle, which I think is super cool. Originally priced, this is $16.90. And for me, I just really, really love card holders. When I go to the parks, I always prefer to just keep my wallet really, really tiny so it can fit in all the tiny bags. And that way I don't have to worry about carrying my giant wallet, which is just very unnecessary. Now they do have a matching actual lounge fly bag that goes along with this. But for me, I just didn't really love it. I have a bag that features Daddy Triton, his castle and all of his daughters. And so I decided not to get the big bag, but just to get the wallet. And then to go along with that, because I'm such a big Little Mermaid fan, they had this super cute card holder and it's Ariel in her sail dress. Now I like to call it her shower curtain dress and I know it's not a shower curtain y'all, but it looks like a shower curtain to me and I think it is so fun. Scuttle and also Sebastian are there and she's looking so beautiful. And then here is the back of it. I love how simple this is. I also love that there are no buttons. It's just a really nice, no frill card holder and that is just right up my alley and $19.90. That's weird, this fancy one is 16 and this one's 19. Odd, very odd. They also had a really cute little pin and I actually went into Box Lunch because I specifically wanted this pin because I had seen someone haul it, I think on Instagram, and I thought it was so adorable. And basically what it is, is it is an alternative animation of Flounder and also Scuttle from The Little Mermaid. And I thought they were so cute with little seaweed and it's got like really nice little pastel colors. I thought this was super cute. And actually I have an entire pin board dedicated to Flounder. So this is gonna go on Flounder's pin board. Next, we got the Happiest Day game. Now, this is a game that is by Funko Games. And I have to tell you, if you are into board games and you're a little intimidated by strategy games, which that's me, a great place to start is Funko Games. I have to tell you, I am obsessed with Haunted Mansion, like deeply, deeply obsessed. And then recently I got super addicted to the Goofy Movie game, also by Funko Games. And this game is super cute and super simple. And it's actually for a little bit of a lower age group. It's ages five and upwards. The other ones I think are ages like 
it's either 10 and up or eight and up, I can't remember. But anyway, this is a much more simple game, but what you do is you kind of go around and find different emblems from around the park and you switch the board from daytime to nighttime in Magic Kingdom. It is super cool. We actually played it the other day and my husband Jesse really ended up loving it, which I thought was hilarious because I never expected him to like a game like this, but he really got into it. And it's really fun because you also move Tinkerbell kind of like up and down the castle. Here's a little bit of a glimpse at the board. And this game was so fun. Like it lasted about 45 minutes, which I felt was like a really long game, but it was super entertaining. I can't say enough good things about Funko games. So if you're ever questioning to get a Funko game, get it. Absolutely get it. This was $29.90. I am starting to get such a Funko game collection and I am living for it. You guys, seriously though, I will link the Goofy movie game down below. It is so much fun. I am obsessed with it. And also it has a really big dice and I'm like really obsessed with like really quality feeling board game pieces. And let me tell you the dice that has power line on it. Heavenly, heavenly. Your, it'll ruin all other dice for you. It really will. I have, <laughs> I love going off on a dice tangent over here. Um, I have a lot, like a lot of little, um, pieces of apparel. I was really on a little mermaid kick. So apologies in advance. Um, although I feel like that's pretty normal over here on the channel, but anyway, I ended up getting this t-shirt. So this is the under the sea magazine and, um, under the sea beat. So it like is an homage to all things in 90s teeny bopper, 90s, early 2000s teeny bopper magazines. We live Prince Eric he found love when he was rescued by a mysterious mermaid, cool, confident, and heroic. Exclusive details on the royal wedding and flounder exclusive interview with Ariel's best friend. Oh my gosh, I love it. It totally looks like a magazine cover. Eric's looking so very handsome. I love, love, love that they have an exclusive interview with flounder. I think that is so funny. This shirt is so cute. I'm totally gonna wear it to bed. It's like the perfect little, um, sleeping shirt and I kind of live for that. Totally spoiling a Valentine's Day post that's going to happen next week, which by the way, happy Valentine's Day y'all. But I do wanna show you what I got because I thought it was too cute. So these shirts are for myself and for my husband and also for my cat. So we have the Ariel shirt, it's tie dye, it says Ariel and then it has her in her beautiful late 80s wedding dress, which we live for. Also, can I please point out that it is so funny how similar Ariel's crown is to Aurora's crown in the wedding scene. I always thought that that was such a funny touch, but doesn't she look so stunning? So this was $32.90. And then of course, I had to get her prince, which is Prince Eric. This is gonna be Jesse's. So it says Eric, and then it has Prince Eric in his wedding outfit. Now, I will say I totally bought these for me to be able to wear both of these. Um, so they're both in my size because Jesse's only gonna wear it. And by the way, I'm speaking about my husband. We have the same name. So Jesse, man Jesse, is only gonna wear it for that one photo. So these are totally mine. Um, also $32.90, we love. But this is like really, really thick material. And also what I love about this, it does have like that really fun little like hook thing on the back of the shirt, which to me looks very 90s and I am so here for it. I also love that they embroidered the names onto these shirts. This like blue embroidery is so, so pretty. Like the coloring, oh, but certainly not least, Telly Belly, our little kitty gal, wherever she's here somewhere. Telly, where are you at? So this is clearly not a shirt for a cat, but we're making it a shirt for a cat. It says a flounder and scuttle. This is what I love. It's always flounder and Sebastian. It is always, always, always flounder and Sebastian. And I personally absolutely love scuttle. And I was so jazzed to see that scuttle finally, finally got some love. This was $16.90. We got her the smallest size, which is a 2T. It's gonna be a little bit long on her, but I think it'll work out. I think we're gonna put the image of Scuttle and Flounder on her back because in photos she likes to like do a little like over the shoulder sort of moment. 
to like, you know, get the full view of the beautiful cat. So anyway, if you're looking, to, <laughs> if you're looking to see that image, it'll be over on Instagram if you are interested. Y'all want to see me dress up my cat? <laughs> oh goodness. So, oh, this is really fun. Okay. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot I bought this. Um, so glad that I did though, because it is so pretty. So this is a battery operated light that is a silhouette of Tinkerbell sprinkling pixie dust on to the ground and it is so very pretty and this was $22.90 I'm going to take it out of the packaging so you can see it I just thought that this was such a pretty like shelf decor item and it's just so fun so here it is and it is so very pretty. At our box lunch, they actually had it lit up and it was so lovely. A cool little nightlight. Like, would this be perfect as like a nightlight in like a craft room or like maybe in like a movie room? Wouldn't that be so cute? I just love it. I think it's adorable. And it is backlit, so it definitely accentuates the silhouette of Tinkerbell and her pixie dust, which I think is so cute. And yes. It is plastic. It's kind of noisy, actually, when you move it around. It's got like a very hollow, hollow, plasticky sound to it. And then, oh my gosh. Okay, so going along with that card holder, I could not help myself but get this bag. And it's so funny because I don't love the alternative animation, but I have got to tell you, I fell in love with how adorable Max looks. So here's the front and it's got Eric's castle. This is when Ariel uh, actually has lost her voice to Ursula and is coming out of the ocean. And look at little Max. Oh my gosh, he's so precious. He is so precious. And then it's got the ocean at the bottom. We have Flounder on the back. So here is Flounder. And then we have very long side pockets. This bag is so interesting. It is much bigger than your typical lounge fly mini backpack, which I think is very, I mean, I love that. I would kill for these backpacks to be about four inches larger than they are. Like two inches tall, two inches on the side, that'd be great. Just feels a little bit too small. And then the lining though is so pretty. So we have this lining. This is the um scuttle sebastian and flounder lining and it looks like they are just inside of the ocean which is so fun this bag is lovely and i am so excited to have it i really love max on this bag and this bag cost 74 dollars and 90 cents so we have a new movie represented in my collection o bags and i'm really excited about it so i realized the other day that i don't have any 101 Dalmatians bags. And I was like, you know what? When the right bag comes along, I'm gonna get it. The right bag has come along, my friends. And I realized that this bag happened to be my favorite little Dalmatian puppy, Rolly. I could not resist. I love Rolly. Rolly was my most favorite Dalmatian when I was a little girl. I loved this movie so much. I love 101 Dalmatians, 102 Dalmatians, the live action, all the things. I just loved this film when I was little. And I'm so excited to finally have a Dalmatian bag inside of my collection. So here is Rolly looking so chunky. And what I love is the whole front pocket is his booty, which we are so here for. The tail is on a little swivel. And all of those Dalmatian spots are actually embroidered, which I think is so fun. Does have little side pockets. And then I have got to show you the inside. The interior is so cute. Look, it is navy with all of the different puppies. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh, I just love them. I think they're so adorable. And then on the back, oh my gosh, you guys, this image with Pongo and Perdita and all the puppies is so precious. It's so precious. The only thing is white bags you've gotta be so careful with. So I'm going to be very cautious. I actually see a little bit of dirt on the front of Rolly that I am going to have to fix, which by the way, Magic Air's racer and like a drop of water, like not like barely a drop of water will get anything off of a lounge fly bag. Just throwing that out there. Um, but here is Rolly and I love him. I think he's so precious. So anyway, here's my new 101 Dalmatians bag. I am actually, 
very surprised that I had never gotten anything Dalmatians before. It just seems like that would be something that I would have, but that was not the case. So welcome to the club, friend. Well, that is what I purchased with my box lunch money. I would love to know what your favorite item was from this haul. Also, can you please tell me if you have played Funko Games games because I should start a club with Funko Games because I am deeply, I'm deeply obsessed. And guys, that's gonna do it for me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN, bye.